In 2011, the Kenyan government revealed its plans for Konza, a new technology technopolis that will take advantage of the rapidly expanding economy, the thriving technology industry, and the highly educated populace. But the question is, is it worth the estimated $15 billion? What kind of goodies will it come with? What should we expect? The Technopolis is a crucial element of Kenya's national development policy, Kenya Vision 2030. It aims to encourage economic growth and attract investment by building infrastructure and fostering an environment favorable to business and innovation. The development of the Technopolis takes place in stages, with the first stage concentrating on the building of horizontal infrastructure projects. Future high-tech businesses, R&D hubs, and academic institutions will be located in Technopolis. Basically, the Konza Technopolis is a significant part of Kenya's future and will play a significant role in promoting economic growth and helping the country achieve its 2030 objective. But where is this vast project located? The unincorporated community of Konza City is located in Kenya's Machakos County, situated about 64 kilometers south of Nairobi, the country's capital. It's expected to increase Kenya's economy and attract foreign investment. It will also increase the quality of life for residents of Machakos County and create new jobs. The Kenyan government started this mega-project 13 years ago, so you might be wondering, how are things going? First of all, the Konza City project isn't finished yet. However, they are making good progress and will be finished on schedule. By the end of 2022, the Technopolis's initial phase is expected to be completed. Some of the operations being carried out include the site grading and street paving, the building of stormwater drainage systems, the construction of water supply distribution systems, and the installation of sewage collection and reticulation systems. The anticipated cost of Konza is $15 billion, and the government agreed to fund 10% of the infrastructure. At the same time, the private sector will cover the remaining costs of constructing colleges, businesses, homes, and hotels. And as we all know, KOTDA was allowing the signing of agreements with outside lenders. However, the procedures to establish it were put off until 2013. Something else which caused a delay on the project was when the National Land Commission, which manages public land, instituted a time-consuming acquisition process in 2012. Nevertheless, the Konza Technopolis master plan has not been universally embraced, even though the first brick was set on the project in 2013. Some have expressed public skepticism about its execution. Its location has also come under scrutiny because of how far it is from the capital, which makes it less desirable for professionals. Another complaint is the project's failure to utilize the nation's existing infrastructures. And because of all this delay, one German university and numerous companies have fled. So, will the wait be worth it for this project? And what effects might Konza have on the nation? The truth is, Konza will be the most technologically advanced metropolis in Africa and a significant economic development engine, education, and employment for the entire nation. Its goals include developing several enterprises, creating a university campus with a concentration on research and technology, and building hotels, residential areas, schools, and hospitals. It also has plans to construct hotels, an international school, a convention center, a mall, and a health facility. However, in the long run, many challenges have been faced in achieving the goals. So, what could be some of the main challenges in establishing the project? Some of the problems the project is facing include lofty intentions, bureaucracy, and a lack of financing. They're all putting Konza's completion of its objectives far behind schedule. There are also funding issues due to the government's serious financial troubles and the recession generated by the COVID situation. On the other hand, they have had some problems with managing debt. So, the question is, do they have a strategy? What are some of the strategies that have been undertaken to ensure that Konza Technopolis will achieve the vision? Could one of them be a partnership? The Israeli embassy in Kenya, together with the Konza Technopolis Development Authority, have teamed up to conduct an innovation challenge, the Konza Innovation Challenge. It's an innovation competition that aims to foster technological advancements that will fuel the city's ambitious smart goals. According to engineer John Tanwi, Chief Executive Officer KOTDA, 
The challenge was to give innovators in Kenya and Israel the chance to address the immediate and long-term needs of Konza Technopolis. All with a focus on smart access control, intelligent asset management, smart parking management, and smart traffic management solutions. The competition fostered cross-pollination among innovators. However, it strengthened existing ties between the two nations. Israel's ambassador, H.E. Oded Joseph, stated during a networking event with entrepreneurs from hubs all around the nation that his country is eager to expand innovation cooperation and that Kenya is a great partner. The ambassador emphasized in his speech that Israel's issues with water, food, and security have been key factors in the development of solutions for the nation. And despite the COVID-19 pandemic, investments exceeded 10 billion US dollars in 607 agreements in 2020, outpacing the results of 2019 by 31% in capital and 20% in deal volume. From a personal standpoint, Konza will draw both big and small domestic and foreign firms. It will assist and instruct both aspiring and seasoned tech entrepreneurs. It will assemble a diverse population to offer answers to the world's problems. It will also assist in Kenya's already important manufacturing, tourism, and agricultural industries. However, they will need the right strategy and planning for this project to be successful. Nevertheless, it seems like quite an impressive project that will change the lives of many Kenyans. Anyway, what are your thoughts on the project? Do you think the Cons Technopolis will be a reality? Will it be possible?